Greetings Multiverse! We're halfway through February 2022 and I am shocked that we still don't know Gotham Knights' release date yet. However, that may be changing very soon, as we have a lot of new leaks to suggest that a new Gotham Knights cinematic trailer is in the works at WB Montreal, and will probably come out either this month or next, which may reveal both the release date and the League of Assassins faction. I personally believe it'll be sooner rather than later because Warner Brothers really can't afford to delay Gotham Knights' reveal any longer, especially now Suicide Squad is likely getting pushed back to 2023. As for the evidence of a new trailer, there are several bits of key new info. The most important comes from Nightwing voice actor and motion capture artist Christopher Sean, who you may know as the one person involved in Gotham Knights who's unable to stop teasing things. I've already done one video on how Batman's clearly alive and brainwashed by the Court of Owls thanks to Chris Sean, and I don't expect him to stop leaking things anytime soon. Christopher Sean's latest tease comes via both his Instagram and Twitter, which showed that in January he was doing voice acting and mocap performance for an undisclosed project. The thing about Christopher Sean is, though, he's a bit like the Riddler. He has to tell us the answer, even if it's a cryptic one. For starters, Sean revealed in other Instagram videos that the work he's doing is in Montreal, Canada, as in Warner Brothers Montreal, the developer of Gotham Knights. Since then, he's also posted several photos of himself from the shoot in Gotham Knights branded clothing. In another video, he said he was being directed by a man named Wilson. Thank you, Wilson. Well, Wilson Moy is the cinematic director of Gotham Knights and will be the man in charge of any new story trailers requiring actual actors. Hopping over to Twitter, Christopher Sean posted another picture of himself in his mocap suit alongside the phrase, Stay vigilante, my friends. If we assume that he deliberately misspelled vigilant, the first Gotham Knights trailer, of course, referred to the Bat family as vigilantes rather than heroes at least for the start of the game. All of this taken together makes it seem very clear that Nightwing actor Christopher Sean has clearly been back working this month with the Gotham Knights studio at Montreal. Red Hood actor Stephen O. Young was a bit more subtle, posting a picture of himself in a voice recording booth at the same time Christopher Sean would have been doing something similar. Most of the work on the game itself must be complete by now, so to drag the actors all the way up to Canada must mean something new. In other words, a trailer. And the fact that WB Montreal is doing all new mocap work rather than just using in-engine animation from the game itself suggests that it could be a CGI cinematic trailer, like the one made for Batman Arkham Origins. The only reason WB Montreal makes such a special trailer can only be for a release date reveal. As for the trailer's content, the evidence could be pointing to a reveal for the League of Assassins, even if this evidence might not be reliable. A little while back, actress Mylene Din Robic was spotted in a motion capture outfit for a mysterious project. It certainly could be for Gotham the Knights, the internet became certain she was actually playing Talia Al Ghul. However, the recent evidence for this is because IMDB stated this was the case. I myself debunked this IMDB stuff, you can check out my video doing so in the link above, but that does not mean that Mylene Din Robic isn't playing Talia, and it certainly doesn't mean a Gotham Knights trailer showing off the League of Assassins isn't coming. I called this idea back in October, the idea that WB Montreal would start releasing trailers that introduce different factions the same way they did with the Court of Owls, and the only unrevealed one we're certain of is the League of Assassins, thanks to that demon's head symbol they released ages ago. I'm not sure if the Gotham Knights CGI cinematic trailer will be about the League of Assassins, but I'm betting probably not. I suspect the CGI trailer will accompany the release date reveal and be more focused on Gotham Knights' general story, which we're still not really sure about. A League of Assassins trailer will follow closer to the game's release, and will probably be built using in-game footage. So when will that Gotham Knights release date actually be? B. As I've discussed before, the optimistic answer is June, and the pessimistic answer is August or September. I'm personally putting my money on this summer, around June time, because I'm a hopeless optimist. As for the cinematic trailer and release date reveal, that'll drop either this month or March. Maybe even alongside the Batman movie. But what do you guys think? Do you want some new Gotham Knights trailer, or do you just want to know the damn release date already? Let me know in either the comments below, or on the Inside the Multiverse Discord server, the chat for the DC podcast I'm part of, which you'll find a link to in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe, it will really helps me out, and check out other Gotham Knights videos on DC Comics Gamer, including the near certainty that Batman is still alive. Thanks for watching folks, and for now, Multiverse out.